Good morning guys and welcome to Beauty and Blessings and let's just get ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lip balm on my lips. We're gonna chat today. Um, I don't really know what to talk about today, you know, there's nothing big that jumped out. Um, I was thinking about, you know, uh, how fortunate I was to have a job, you know, I kind of started off with the begin that beginning of the week because I just wasn't feeling it. I had a lot of stuff going on this week. This was a very busy week for me at work and I uh, was not excited about it just because I knew I was going to be so exhausted come today <laughs> or even yesterday. And I had my face with my Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Primer. Um, I was thinking though of how thankful I am that I do have a job and uh, my friend is going through this thing where she's, she's having to find a new job. Like the last time she had to find a job was well over 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. And so she's struggling with this now where she's got to find a new job because she worked for college and they're getting rid of her position and so like she's really struggling with that through that and so I'm really glad that I'm not having to go through that. Use my Smashbox 24 hour eye primer. This is like almost done. Um, but I am really glad that I'm not having to do that because I do not like writing a resume and uh, I couldn't imagine like having to rewrite my resume after like 15 years. It'd be crazy. So <sighs> that's just not so I'm glad I don't have to do that. And I'm glad that I actually had um this is my brightening under eye brightening corrector. I actually had uh let's see about two two and a half years ago now where I left the job I was at because of just a really like difficult situation and it was just it left me really in an awkward place and like when I went into interviews asked when people were like so why'd you leave your other job it's like Ugh. like one of it it was like a nasty breakup almost and so Fortunately, I was able to go back to the place that I work at now because I had worked there part time before, and I knew because I knew like unless until I got another job, like I, I was going to be in so much trouble like trying to find a new career because it was just a weird, awkward situation. I don't have my face powder. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is find anything so I've been setting sorry if you have the toys three-year-old here um, but I've been setting my primer with that sponge with powder I can't find anything this morning I'm using my top. so I'm using my fit me compact right here not in poreless I find it helps to fight my oil throughout the day because my skin has just been in a weird place lately. But anyway, so once again, thankful for my job and that I don't have to, and I now have a job that is in between that awkward breakup one and my future <laughs> if I ever have to get another job because I would not want to have to go. I, it was just very uncomfortable trying to tell, explain about the whole situation to potential employers, especially because it was I was working in the beauty community and it was just a situation that like made no sense to them. <laughs> um, anywho, <sighs> my eight-year-old went on his first sleepover last night. So I'm going to go pick him up in a little bit before we go to church and 
I can't like I was so nervous all night we've had sleepovers here like with his friends and I'm like I can't believe how his parents did their parents did that like as young as they were because he's eight and I'm like I was like panicking last night I'm like oh, what am I gonna do all right do some concealer this is my it cosmetics bye bye under eye I got this little thing in an ipsy and it's really really light it's like way too light so I'm trying to get some use out of it this winter where I'm not as dark so in the summer there's no way like it's just, it's just too light so um anyway also I was thinking about like so my husband and I are trying to you know we figure our finances so we can get student loans paid off and all that jazz and um so that's a blessing because he's like on board for doing that because i know that there are other couples where it's like one does everything and is responsible for all that and the other one has zero interest in doing that and so we were kind of like that for a while so i get that and it's not fun it's really stressful for that one person um so anyway, what was I going with that? Oh yeah, so he, so we've been trying to reconfigure our finances and I, we've been talking about things like our spending habits. Like I was like, we spend right now like 600 a month on, month on groceries. And we have, you know, four people in our family, did two little ones, you know. Well, actually my older one, he eats like a bird. I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty thing to get up in the excess water. But he, I'm like, he is, um, he eats like a bird when he's at home, so, you know, we don't, I, we don't need all this food. I'm like, I don't know where all this food is going, but like a lot of it is going in the trash and that's really wasteful. So he has really been working with me about spending and food spending. And so far this month, we've only spent $20 on groceries. Now we do get um, a lot of our produce and stuff uh, for free and uh, so and like we don't really do milk and whatnot. Eggs are like a big expense for us and you know the proteins but we've managed to only spend like going through our freezers and being like what do we have in here? This is my Mary Kay timelines the Minnesota Foundation but we've been very good about this month about going through and like we're not gonna buy stuff until we go through what we can have what we have like we might not have steaks in the freezer but if we got chicken we're gonna eat that first you know what i mean and he's a steak guy so that's a big deal but we've been going through this he really likes to eat wings on fridays and so we've been like and that's been our expense this month so far is buying chicken wings at the grocery store for him to cook uh, at this at home and so instead of spending sixty dollars on some chicken wings we spent they were on sale so it was spent like 15 like that was awesome so let's see what do i need to do next what's going on i need to start gonna let this sit before i put powder on it do my eyebrows that's what i need to do so anyway that is a huge thing because we are like a third of the way through, a quarter way through the month. And so at this point we would have spent at least $100 and we've only spent 20 and that's going to really help because we really want to get our student loans just paid off. Student loans are so much. I really want to look into loan forgiveness. Have any of you guys been? Uh, through that process, like gotten your loans forgiven. How does that all work? If you have, please let me know down in the, in the comments below or message me or something because I would like to figure out how to do that because we both work in education and but we both don't have like your traditional teacher role. So I know like for teachers, if you teach at a Title I school, like a low-income school, 
you can get your principal to sign like a paper or write a letter for you every year and get a little bit taken off. Or at least that's how it was when I first graduated. That was like the process and you could get your loans forgiven that way. But I don't know for us. And his degree's not in education, mine is, so I don't know if that affects it, but uh loan forgiveness would be a huge, huge blessing. It's just such a we don't have credit card debt, we don't have any of that. So it's just our loan debt. Like we don't have any car payments. So we've been given the cars, thank goodness. Thank God, you know. This is my Maybelline Brow Body Liner. So you know I hated this product and that's why I was like, I'm gonna make myself finish it up this year. And I've been really like trying to use it every day to make sure that I can get it used up. And I've actually decided I'm kind of liking it for setting my brows because my brows don't move around all day and it does have little fibers in it like the benefit give me brow that give it some volume like a huge piece there the thing about the fibers is they'll stick out like that on the end but once again i can't use it as a standalone because it um i don't have a lot of brow hairs right here in the center Anyway, where was I going? Oh yeah, loan forgiveness. That would be a huge blessing, but a huge blessing that my husband is working with me so we can get our loans paid off and just get out of that. Um, I didn't was not pay attention. I haven't been recording. I don't even know what the last thing I recorded was. So I talk about what I was talking about right now. I'm so bad at this, guys. One, one of these days, I will make it work. But anyway. So, I tried out two new classes this week that I want to teach, and it went really well. And so that's awesome because we're going to just move forward with that and keep going. Not using that push. And I'm going to get to use those because our big goal is like for everybody to... I'm using my it Cosmetics highlighter again in, in a corner and off the brow. But our big goal is to be a place where like grown-ups and everybody in our community and the surrounding communities visit to do science stuff and not just be only a kids museum but somewhere that everybody can come and play and experience science. Ugh, my brush fell. I've been putting my highlighter like right with the raw. I kind of like it. But I'm really glad that those classes went well so we can move forward with them and one was like a fermentation glass and it was talking about um, the process of fermentation and the other one was for a date night but it was talking about aphrodisiacs but we want to do like our own, this was a date night that works with several other museums in our community so this is I want to do one that's just us or we want to do one that's just us and like just adults come and doesn't this be a date but just adults come and they play and have fun and do science. So that went well and that's awesome. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Um I feel like this video was very all over the place, but have you guys been doing this where you like try to think about the good things that happen even when your week was so stressful? Like mine was this week. And just try to use it as a refocus. I have a really hard time getting my like outer lashes when I use an eyelash curler. You guys have that issue? Is it just me? I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinite Little Mascara. Uh, sample size thing. Mm -hmm. You know, making it through these samples, which is awesome. We can go back to full size mascaras. Actually, I'm kind of like lately, I've been like really digging the sample sizes because I can switch up my mascaras that I use more often without feeling, you know, guilty about using a full size. But I have a lot of full size ones I need to get through, so 
I am thinking I can probably go this entire year without purchasing a mascara. Like, aside from if one comes from a, a subscription box. But I'm not going to be using those until I'm through with what I have, so. I'm going to try not to. Because I don't want to open it and try it out. I'm going to be like, I need to finish it before I move on to the next one. Alright, so I'm going to just leave my lips just plain right now because I'm putting my nose when they're done. Because they're really chapped and I need to do a lip scrub or something. But um, thanks for hanging out with me this week, guys. I hope your weeks are going to go great this one. I hope you had a good week this past week. And just be blessed. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.